Let's install a Tecmar. Even though this is my sixth or seventh time installing one of these Tecmars, let me know down below if you think it's a good idea for an apprentice to be doing this. Oh, thank God. Last two offsets. Three. And the piece de resistance, Tecmar 279. I think that's a good start for right now. Odds are I forgot at least one thing, but for now, let's see how we did. All right. Let's see what we got in store for today. where we're going. This is how we set up a summer winter switch. This is how it's wired in. Power coming up, waiting here, waiting here. Right now this is off, this would indicate we're in summer. When we flip the switch to winter, power goes up, waits at the Tecmar, comes back down, goes to the boiler. In the summer, there might be a cool day and the boiler might run, which we don't want. The tech mark could be calling for heat all day and nothing's going to happen because no power is coming up over on our auto bypass. Sometimes with the tech Mars, the condensate sensor goes bad. The outdoor sensor goes bad. There might be a problem with the control and we just want to get heat on right now. Someone could come down and they could flip the auto or bypass switch to get some heat to the building. So people aren't freezing until we can come and take a look and see what's going on. Whether the Tecmar is calling or not, if bypass is on, the boiler is going to run. And very important to label everything so people know what switches they're flipping. All right, so everything is just about set up. We got our condensate sensor and outdoor sensor wire. So now all we gotta do is wait until we have our condensate line set to 180. So when this reads 180, we're gonna go in our heat cycle. You now the pipe is, we set this sensor all the way down at the furthest end of the steam main. But once we see the temperature start to climb, it's gonna climb quick. 180, there we go, all right. Heat cycle has begun. All right, so our little power flame burner symbol went off, but we're still in our heat cycle, which means that this is now the cool down period for our boiler. We can flip the bypass though, and our boiler will run. But I wanna go and I'm just gonna change a couple of the settings because I went all the way up to the top floor and eh, the radiators are warm, but you know, they're not super hot. So I, I want to make sure that as long as those are heating up, everything else underneath will be heating up as well. So I saw the max pipe temperature we got up to is 203. So I'm going to make a couple adjustments on our establishing steam temperature, maybe on our room temperature too. So it'll run a little bit longer, but you know, that's how we uh, set up a Tecmar and set up a summer winter switch for that Tecmar. It's just one of those think ahead moments where you know don't worry about just the install for right now getting the Tecmar on for the boiler to run you know let's think down the road what if there is a problem we want to be able to flip a switch and have heat come to the building so later on we can get here and figure out what the problem is